Hey guys, it's Coach Williams. Wanted to come out here really brief and just have a conversation with you today um, and talk about when the vow is tested. Um, I put the flyer up. Registration is now open. Um, but where did it come from? How how did it come about? Who is it for, right? Um, how did it come about? We were finishing up a um, conversation with the Wise Wives Build group. And what we were talking about was what happens when life happens, basically, right? Um, what what happens when everything is going wrong? What what happens when you you know you and your spouse are at each other? What what happens when the vow is tested? You know, we stood before God, we stood before our family, we some of us stood, you know, some people may have stood before the judge, but guess what? You made a vow. You may have written your own vows, but you made a solemn promise, you you know, to love, to cherish, that you would always be there. But what happens when that vow gets tested? What, what happens when you said for richer or for poorer and you lose everything? What happens when you said in sickness and in health and one of you gets sick? What, what happens when you say until death do us part? And they die, leaving you a widow. What what happens? What do you do? How do you survive that? How do you move forward? When they said, "I will love you for the rest of my life. I will love you. I will I will cherish you. I will honor you." And they cheated on you and walked away. When the vow is tested, what do you do? How do you handle it? Do you leave? Do you cleave? Do you stay? Do you murmur? Do you complain? Do you go? Or do you find the strength to stand and to fight? And for each and every one of us, that's a decision that we have to make for ourselves. And I'm gathering five of my friends, my sister friends together, and we're going to talk about for real, for real, testimony, real life story of when the vow was tested and we had, we were forced to make decisions. Some of it didn't feel good, y'all, but can I tell you, it was good for us. It was the best thing that could have happened, that these ladies are not just survivors, these ladies are thriving on the other side of process and they're yelling from over the wall saying it's good over here. So we are issuing a clarion call for widows, for moms, for wives, for single ladies, divorced, separated, complicated. We want you to meet us in the room starting August the 3rd at 8 p.m. But you have to register you to be in the room. This will not be in, in the Facebook group. This is gonna be in a private location, securely shut up that only the registrants can get into, right? So we ain't gonna let nothing slip out, seep out, none of that. We gonna shut in for five weeks and discuss when the vow is tested because it's time to do the work. It's time to stand. It's time to grow past some of the things that have hurt um, and happened in our life, okay? So bit.ly forward slash vow test, bit.ly vow test to register. You'll see it right about here okay so have an amazing day love you guys to life come see me over on the cassandra williams enterprise page if you're on facebook okay but when the vow is tested do you leave do you cleave what are you supposed to do when the enemy comes in like a flood meet us august 3rd when the vow is tested and we'll let you know, okay?
Have a good one. Bye.